episode 163 of the show where I talk about my week. This is a weekly diary podcast hosted by me, Ray Taylor. Every Saturday, I share updates on my journey as an artist, podcaster, business owner, and human being. At the end of every episode, I like to highlight something that I am thankful for. It could be something big, it could be something small, it could be something abstract. But this week, I am thankful for baking soda. It's amazing. I've been getting into making my own cleaners, just finding, again, finding ways to cut costs. And white vinegar is very similar. There's a lot of cleaning purposes you can use white vinegar for. But baking soda, also very good. So here's some things that you can use baking soda for. Obviously baking, but general cleaning. Right, baking soda can be used to as a gentle abrasive cleaner for countertop sinks, other surfaces. Right, simply make a paste by mixing baking soda with water and scrub the area you want to clean. You can use it as a carpet freshener if you have a dog. They sell carpet fresheners, or you can spend a lot less and just get baking soda. Carpet freshener, you sprinkle the baking soda on the carpet, you let it sit for a while. The longer you let it sit, the better. Right, but I think at least. You want to go at least an hour, right? But you want to sprinkle it on the carpet, let it sit for a while, and then you vacu vacuum it up like you would any other normal carpet freshener thing, right? Obviously, baking soda is not going to make, it's not adding perfume scent like a lot of those carpet fresheners do. But baking soda, obviously, also used as a deodorizer for your refrigerator place an open box in your refrigerator and it kites reduce and absorbs unwanted smells it does the same thing when you pour it on your carpet you can also pour it in your trash can to do the same thing sprinkle the baking soda at the bottom of your trash can to help neutralize orders odors you can also use it to clean vegetables there are ways you can add it to water certain vegetables to help clean vegetables off to do all that stuff so as a cleaner, baking soda is good. Obviously, cooking as a baking ingredient. It's commonly used in leavening agent in bread. It reacts with acidic ingredients like buttermilk or vinegar to produce carbon dioxide and create rise in baked goods, right? Or volcanoes for science experiments. Tenderizing meats. It's also great. Soaking meat in a mixture of baking soda and water can help tenderize, uh, tenderize it before cooking. Also use it for personal care. Toothpaste, baking soda can be combined with a little water to form a natural toothpaste. It helps remove surface stains and freshen breath. You can also use it as mouthwash. Mix, mixed, uh, mix a teaspoon of baking soda with a glass of water to create a mouthwash that can help neutralize odors and promote, promote oral health. You can also use it as a skin exfoliator. Create a paste with baking soda and water, then gently scrub it on your skin to remove de dead skin cells. You can use it to make deodorant, mixing it with like, uh, what is it? Mixing it with cornstarch and uh, coconut oil. You can mix those in certain quantities and make your own deodorant. I don't really wear deodorant, but you know, for those moments that I do when I run out of the, the peach, not plastic natural deodorant that I currently have. Also, other household remedies. Heartburn relief. Drinking a mixture of water and baking soda can help provide a temporary relief from heartburn or indigestion. Obviously, you want to do that very sparingly because too much baking soda, you can fuck with your, your natural elements in your body. Uh, also, insect bite relief. Create a paste with baking soda and water, then apply it to insect bites or stings to soothe itching and reduce swelling. So many uses, and it's so inexpensive. Uh, I put mine into, I had an old Parmesan cheese, you know, bottle. I poured baking soda in there so it has the lid where you can open it up and easily scoop it out. Or you can have the other side that's great for sprinkling it on the carpet. Uh, that's where, that's the container I've put my baking soda in to help with the dispensing and also keep it closed, fresh, all that kind of stuff. I love baking soda. It is what I've been using very f infrequently uh, for the heartburn stuff, and it works amazing. Again, don't do that regularly. And also, I'm not a doctor. 
Don't put stuff into your body that I recommend just because I recommended it. And I'm not recommending it. I'm just saying how I use it, how I have used it a couple times. Uh, but also kind of a great alternative to having antacids around. But if you're obviously you're, you have an issue with it, then it's not something you want to do regularly. Upcoming events. Well, I guess before that, I'm thankful for baking soda. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's great. And I, I, I want to do maybe there will be more things like that that I've been using uh, that I'm thankful for. But I, I've been using baking soda like crazy lately and uh, wanted to share that. And also, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to connect with all of you through this podcast. And for the chance to share my journey with you, please join the conversation by leaving a comment or rating on your favorite podcast platform or over on YouTube at youtube.com slash inspired disorder. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next Saturday for another episode of Raise Days. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at inspireddisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where you, you wake, wake up and you realize, realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.